Hey guys, welcome back to Paper Made Me Do It. In this video, we are going to be sampling four new inks that I recently purchased. They are all from the same line, from a brand that I've been wanting to try for some time, and that is the Robert Oster line. These all say signature on the label, and granted, the plastic bottle is not a very impressive feature, but the ink inside is what matters, and that is what we're gonna be sampling out today. So we're gonna swab out each color first, and that way you can determine if you wanna keep watching the writing samples, because I'm gonna dedicate a page for each ink show you what it looks like in the nib. We're starting out first with Robert Oster Chartreuse. And one of the main reasons I want to do a separate page of writing samples is that we all know that inks can look very different when they come out of the nib compared to how they look in a swatch. But this is the chartreuse. And then we're gonna move into a little darker shade in the green family. This is called avocado. Here's what the swab looks like. And then from green, we're gonna move into slightly more blue tone. And this one is called Gray Seas. This gray happens to be spelled with an E-Y instead of the A-Y. And then the fourth and last one that we're gonna look at is called Summer Storm. the swab. So we start out with kind of a yellowish green, move into a slightly, I don't know if there's such a thing as a smoky green, but that's kind of what I think of this avocado as, into the blue family, and then kind of a grayish, almost lilac. I see some purple tones in this one. So chartreuse, avocado, gray seas, and summer storm. Let's get into the writing samples of each. I'm gonna try to zoom you in just a bit. Okay, we're gonna start, we're gonna go in the same order. So we're gonna start with chartreuse and I have it inked up in a sailor pen. And it has a, I believe, 14K gold nib. And it is in a medium. Nib. And this is The 
chartreuse. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a bit. Let's see how that color looks laid down from the nib. It's a very pretty color. And then we'll do a little quote here. Okay, you only live once, but if you do it right, once is enough. May West. Love this color. Again, that's the chartreuse. Then we'll move on to a little bit greener of the greens. And that is avocado. I'm going to be using a Y Studio Brassing Fountain Pen. It has a fine nib. And I believe, can't really tell from the markings. I believe this is a stainless steel though. Whatever it is, it is a beautiful nib. It is one of my favorite fountain pens. Okay, and this is the Robert Foster Avocado. We'll see how it lays down. The color from the nib.
And for this quote, we're going to be going old school with some Mark Twain. I'll be giving my first impression at the end of this as well on these inks in general since this is my first Robert Oster Oster excuse me purchase Good friends, good books, and a sleepy conscience. This is the ideal life. Okay. So that is the avocado. to the third color, which was gray seas. This is a pilot vanishing point. It does have a gold nib. This one happens to be in medium. This is Robert Oster Gray with an EY. C's. This is a beautiful blue. It's not too bright. Very nice shade. Everything you can imagine is real. And that was Pablo Picasso. That is the gray seas. And we have one left. And that 
is our summer storm where we begin to lean a little more into the lilac family. This is a Waterman Expert. Again, I'm thinking it's stainless instead of gold. I'm not 100% sure, but the nib size in this pen is medium. Still a very smooth rider. This is our summer storm. Definitely hints of gray in this color. Really like it. Sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple. Dr. Seuss. Okay, so that is all four of these colors. So my first impression, in general, I'm a fan of the Robert Oster brand. The colors are very nice. I know that there's a much wider range than the four that I happen to choose, but of the four that I chose, there's nothing at all about them to me that are <clears throat> offensive in any way. Nothing is too bright or awkward or everything's just such a nice, subtle, almost like a muted version of that color. And one thing I noticed is definitely more so than I've seen in any other brand. These colors look very, very different wet than dry. So when they're wet, they look more like the true color. But then after they dry, it's almost like um, you get more of that gray tone. Less so with the blue. Definitely with the summer storm. Even with the avocado, the colors just dry different. They, they look so nice, like a matte version. I don't even know how to explain it. Definitely different than any other brand of ink that I currently own. 
So here's how, now that they've all had time to dry. Of course, when I flipped this page, it was still wet. So there's some remnants over here, but very, very nice after they're dry. So I hope this is helpful to you if you've been considering this brand. I think it's um, affordable as well, comparatively speaking. And then it's just different. I wish I had a, a different way to describe them, but this matte color that they dry is very, very nice. So let me know if you have any questions in the comments. That's going to be all for this video. I really appreciate you clicking on and watching this. I hope you're having a great day. I'll see you guys soon. Bye-bye.